Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasol. Today I want to make a quick video about how to run the Flutter app on your real iOS device. Of course, you need a Mac and iPhone. You just plug the USB port into the machine and then you connect it into your iPhone. After you connect, uh, sure you will have a prompt that asks you to type your, uh, your PIN, the phone PIN. You click on trust. Uh, let me uh, type my pin first. Okay, six digits. Now I'm back again. So make sure you have the same Apple account on your iPhone and on your computer. So for me now it's done because I use the same Apple account. So let me go back to the computer. And here I assume that you installed the Flutter environment already, starting from JDK. Android Studio and Flutter uh, SDK, the Xcode, Kakao Port, you know, all the things that you need to run the, um, um, the Flutter, you know. If you don't know, maybe you just go back and make sure you have installed it. And uh, now let's start uh, a new project now. Uh, I will name it like Flutter App 2. Of course, you need the uh, Flutter SDK. I install it in my home so now it's good to go and make sure you don't use example.com because example.com is a real domain you know you will have a problem when you upload to the app store of course here you have to check the Android X and for the Kotlin I don't use Kotlin I use Java but I use Wing Swift you know and then just finish the project and here you can see your device but because I, I record a screen, so I will show my, my screen on the computer as well. So just uh, use the quick type to display that and use uh, my iPhone instead. But you have to understand this is not the emulator, something like uh, on iPhone. This, this is like a screen. You have to touch it on your, on your real iPhone as well. So this is my pin, so let me pause the video. Okay, now I'm back. Okay. So now we are good to go, but before you can run, you have to switch to Xcode, you know, to like initialize and also to enter your account, your uh, Apple ID account, okay? So now it's building. Okay, now you come to the Xcode. Okay, now you are in Xcode. Uh, just follow my step if you are new to Xcode. Click on the project there and then click on sign in and capabilities and you will see the red sign it means that you don't have uh, an account click on team and then add your account there and you just type your apple account there and the password okay for me i have it already as you can see um, i'm is all there and then you click on manage certificates of course i have that because you know i, I, I did that before Click on the first sign and use the Apple development. Okay, now it's done. Um, I have two. It's okay. It's fine. Just click done. You know. And if you need another certificate, just click that. But just one Apple development account is fine. And come back, and then you can choose your 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 name, your name there. Okay. And then that's good to go. But before uh, you, you run, make sure you are using the real device there and click on run from Xcode, not, not from Flutter. You have to initial the, the thing there. Okay, that is very important. You have to, to type your machine uh, password and click always allow. If you don't have the password, just uh, click on always allow and twice like that. Okay, now it's done and you can see the build succeeded and you can see the screen so just like i said before that is not a simulator you have to click it on your your real machine uh, real phone you know real iphone there so now it's done just go back to your uh, android studio or maybe vs code uh, in case you like your vs code okay click on on that run you can see the screen there okay so sometimes your your phone device um, you know you have the, the time to uh, turn off the, the screen you know you cannot run like like that you will have this uh, you know error make sure you just uh, turn on the, the iPhone that's fine 
Okay, so that is a thing uh, I, I encounter a lot. And another thing, sometimes you have a problem with build, just go to that menu and click on uh, click on uh, Flutter clean, you know, to clean thing. Okay, you can see it says uh, deleted build. Uh, and after that, you have to go to file, invalidate cast and restart. You have to restart like that to clear thing up, you know. And after that, usually you fix the problem. And if not, you go to Flutter Doctor and, and uh, see the thing, you know, like maybe you uh, have uh, something that missing or maybe need some updates or that's the thing to go. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you follow. And if you have any problem or maybe something missing here, just comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.